Oh, you thought this was going to be easy. You thought getting women was going to be easy. Let me ask you a question. Why didn't you expect making money to be easy? Why didn't you expect getting a six pack to be easy? But yet you expect women to fall into your lap. What we have right now is a narrative around this whole thing of seduction where men are blaming women. Women are not feminine enough. Women are playing hard to get. Women have too big of an ego, etc. Let me tell you this. A real man doesn't whine, complain, and bitch. A real man looks at where the level of the game is at and then says to himself, okay, the game of the, the level of the game is that is here. It's this difficult. Okay, my job is to shut my mouth, put my head down, and get to work on elevating myself to the level to meet the game's level. You understand? So, all these guys that apparently look powerful and cool, making videos about how women are wrong and what's wrong with women, at the foundation, at the root of that, really what they are is nothing but whiners and complainers. If you're a real man, you do the best with what you have and you accept the rules of the game. Are the rules of the game changing? Yes, perhaps, because now social media is inflating women's egos and making them think that they're harder than they actually are. And there are other things happening in society that are making women, that are hardening women, and perhaps making it harder to get women. Okay, fine. But what a real man does is he adapts and he elevates himself to meet the challenge. He does not sit there and whine and complain about why the game is getting harder. Let me give you another analogy. Online, I run an online business. From the time I started in 2011 to now, 2023, it is much harder to run an online business now because now the market is a lot more saturated. Do I sit there and whine and complain about how it's harder to run my business? Or do I just accept the game and then elevate myself to meet the game at where it's at? So, all your justifications for why women are hard and women are whatever, it goes out the window if you're gonna call yourself a real man who wants to have an abundance with women. Now, let me give you another side note. If you wanna walk away from the game, turn your back on women, and just live single, I'm not saying that's wrong. Fine, if you wanna do that and you don't wanna deal with women, that's fine. But if you're a man who wants to have a relationship or relationships with women, then you gotta shut your mouth Stop the bitching, whining, complaining. Stop watching those videos that are saying bad things about women. Because underneath that, although it may sound powerful, like, yeah, you tell them, yeah, women are... It's, it, it may give you a feeling of, of indi righteous indignance. But in the end of the day, you're joining the whiners. You're either a whiner or somebody who elevates themselves to meet the level of whatever game they're playing. Seduction is a game. Business is a game. Both are getting harder. Who are you going to be? The whiner and the complainer or the man who elevates to reach this level? Here's another question for you. There Are all the beautiful women single or do they have men in their lives? Husbands, boyfriends, and casual sex partners. The answer is they have husbands, boyfriends, and casual sex partners. What does that tell you? That tells you there is a subset of men out there who have elevated themselves and continually elevate themselves to meet the challenge of the game where it's currently at. So, you got two options. You can whine, bitch, and complain, or actually you have three options. Number one, if, you gen if your heart tells you, I want to walk away from this game, walk away, fine. But number two, if you want to stay in this game, then you have two options whine, bitch, and complain, or put your head down, get to work, and elevate yourself. There's a hidden gift. There's a hidden opportunity for you here. It's called the gift of becoming the most powerful evolved version of yourself. Don't you want to be the 10.0 version of yourself? Let's take women aside. When you, let me tell you my story. The hidden unexpected benefit that I gained from mastering this game was the man I became. And if there's one thing I've heard like so many times from my clients after they've gone through the coaching process, they come back and they say, hey, Jad, you know what? Not only 
has this improved my life in terms of now I can get women, but it's also made me a more powerful, better man. So by elevating, facing a hard game, accepting that hard game and elevating yourself, you are becoming a better version of yourself, which is going to lead to more personal peace and more personal love. Don't you want to love yourself more? So you're not going to love yourself more by whining, bitching and complaining about how hard a game is. You're going to love yourself more by elevating and conquering whatever game is in front of you. Personally, for me, I'll tell you, there were some times in the game that it got so hard that I truly contemplated giving up. But when I stepped away from the game for a couple weeks, a month, whatever, my heart, my conscious, my gut kept telling me I cannot have peace until I've demonstrated to myself that I could conquer this mountain. So you got to check yourself. Can you be at peace? 5, 10, 20 years from now, knowing that you didn't face this thing that's so terribly challenging? For most of you, the answer is no, I cannot have peace knowing that I let the game intimidate me out of facing it. So, your peace comes, from, as a man, a man's peace comes when he faces the thing that scares him the most. This game is scary. I know you're scared. So, it's okay to be scared but you got to go anyways. That's what it means to be a man. Now, in my experience being a dating coach for over 10 years and seeing thousands of men come and go, I will tell you who succeeds at this game and who fails and what's the main difference. The guys who succeed in this game are the guys that mastermind and use mentors. The guys who end up failing or staying stuck for five years or more are the guys who just accumulate information through videos and PDFs and go at the game alone. So this game is one of the hardest things in your life. You need support. You need accountability. You need mentorship. You need course correction. If you would like my help, I have two options for you. Number one, I have a group program. It's affordable. If you're a student, anyone can afford that program. You can check the description for my link tree and you'll see my group mastermind program. If you want one-on-one -on -one support, you can go to the link that's here, I think, and you can book a free call and we can discuss working together. When, you're when a man is taking on a game that's damn hard, he needs to reach out for mentorship, for masterminding, for support, and for accountability. If you've been going at this alone up till now, it is no coincidence. It is no coincidence that you're still stuck. You're not the exception, you're the rule. Guys who go at this game alone, stay stuck. Guys who mastermind, get mentorship, those are the guys that break through. So, if you're serious about this, click this link or click the link in the description box, join my one-on-one -on -one or my group, and we'll help you get this women thing handled once and for all. You got this, I believe in you, you can do this. Other guys did it, so you can do it too. Let's get to work.